Hey, Neil Carlson here on the phone with me is uh, Chelsea Sharon. I'm kind of showing the video here of uh, where this happened at 17th and Cherry. You were in the uh, GMC pickup here. Just tell folks what happened or what did you see? Sure. So I was on 17th and I was heading towards South Washington and I was at the stop sign and the three other cars were over there as well. And I went to go because it was my turn and all of a sudden I saw him just speeding very quickly um, and I actually could like see him in my window. He almost hit me in the driver's seat, but I sped up a little bit and luckily enough he hit me right behind the box. So okay. then I um, spun into the stop sign that you can see in the pictures. And then from there I couldn't see him, but from what the police assume happened is that he then crashed into the vehicle that was in the front and then he yeah. spun into the side of that one and then the van behind him and then right. i saw him drive away so and luckily enough two people went after him to go get the yeah. license plate uh, was anybody with you in the truck nope just me uh, were you hurt at all or um i went to all true after and they did some x-rays on my chest and my ankle and my wrist all right kind of a scary deal happened quick huh yeah, not the way I wanted to start my Saturday, but you know, we're lucky okay. we're okay. You know, it could have been worse. And Sharon says there were uh, a woman driver and two children in a second vehicle. The woman was taken to the hospital. She says the two children uh, were being watched by somebody at the scene and uh, taken away later. It's not sure if they got checked out. And also an adult male in a third vehicle, she said, appeared pretty banged up and was also taken to the hospital. Now we have a message from an iNews viewer who says he uh, chased the uh, pickup uh, driven by Austin Bick. Uh, down the street and got in front of him and got him stopped. Uh, as we reported earlier, Bicker is facing charges of DUI, leaving the scene of an accident, and disobeying a judicial order. Uh, no word uh, on exactly what that judicial order was yet. We'll have more details on all of this when uh, formal charges are filed on Monday. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.